I'm Coyote Peterson, and today we're on the search for the elusive water mill. I got one right here off this ledge. Okay. From a bird's eye view, the rainforests of Costa Rica seem to be nothing but endless treetops. Drop beneath the canopy, and you will find that the terrain is incredibly rugged, yet intricately laced with miles of canyons cut into the wild by flowing water. Wow. This environment is seriously challenging. Everything is so slippery and all the rocks are sharp and jagged. It's almost like controlled falling. You do everything you can not to hurt yourself. All right, well, we're working our way up through this canyon and hopefully that's where we're gonna find the water knoll. When it comes to the Osa Peninsula, the landscape is absolutely epic. And the biodiversity that thrives in this remote paradise is an animal enthusiast's dream come true. The Brave Wilderness team and I have embarked upon many grand adventures, but nothing would push us to the limit like our quest to find one of the rarest lizards in the country, a tiny dragon that can only be found deep in the heart of the rainforest. Look at that. That's a baby one. Wow, I'm gonna try to grab him. Got him. Look at that. Well, we found one. He's just really, really tiny. That is a baby water knoll right there. All right, we're gonna put this little guy back on his leaf and try to find one of his big brothers. Encountering a juvenile water knoll was a definite sign that we were headed in the right direction. But then, the rain hit. For nearly two hours, we hiked through a torrential downpour. And with the main cameras packed away, GoPros captured the journey as we navigated the dense jungle. Our destination? A remote waterfall that was rumored to be the one place on the Osa Peninsula where the largest water knolls could be found. Local guides talked about these lizards as if they were mythical rainforest dragons, creatures of the shadows that could spring from cliff sides and disappear into the watery abyss in the blink of an eye. Just to see one would be rare, to capture one would be epic. In the distance, the sound of falling water echoed through the canyon. And as we rounded the bend, before I knew it, we had entered the dragon's lair. I got one right here off this ledge. Hold on. Okay. Oh nice catch. Yes! Woo! Look at that! Beauty! And it is a male! Look at that dewlap, watch this! Oh yes! The elusive water knoll, there it is! Alright, I imagine you probably don't want to film next to this waterfall. Let's bring it back into the better light and get him up close for the cameras. Yes! We finally got one! Oh, look at that! That is a water knoll! You guys have no idea how much effort it has taken to land ourselves in this canyon and find one of these elusive lizards. We've been hiking for hours, we've been dealing with rainstorms, got a waterfall, and finally, as I came across that turn, shining with my flashlight and said, this is the moment. That is a male, that is the one that I have to catch. Now, this lizard, as an anole, you may be thinking, oh, coyote, we've seen so many anoles, but trust me, you have not seen an anole like this. This lizard is incredibly well adapted for this water ecosystem. What they will do, and fortunately for me, I was quicker than he was, they'll wait on the edges of the canyon like that, and as soon as a predator gets close, they dive off of the wall into the water and find a crevice to go into. They sit there and they wait until the danger's gone, then they emerge back up and go about their daily business. Wait, how do they go again? <laughs> they emerge back up and go about their daily business. Now, Hold on, let me catch my composure because this was such a tough lizard to catch. My hand is actually shaking. We did catch a female earlier and they're a bit smaller than the males, but look what he's doing. You see that? He's being completely limp in my hand because he wants me to think that he's dead. He's not, trust me. At any second, he could go blah, just like that and launch off of my hand. I can't do that for too long because he'll realize that I don't have a good hold on him. Oh, come here. And do that. And do that, <laughs> try to spring off, but Let's take a look at this lizard's camouflage because they are incredibly 
cryptic. And I was only able to spot him with my flashlight because the striping and those little yellow dots are what stood out. He looks just like the mosses and the lichens that are covering these rocks. You are very good at camouflaging, buddy. You know that. But if you look at him from the side, you can see that bluish stripe that runs down the length of the body. Incredibly beautiful. Kind of reminds me of a Dilophosaur from Jurassic Park. Now you guys want to see this lizard's dewlap? Yep. It is pretty cool. All right, get ready for this. This is the coolest part of this lizard. Now, because this is a male, all male anoles have a dewlap, and they are absolutely beautiful. And this doesn't hurt the lizard in any way whatsoever. Wow. Look at that. Now what they use the dewlap for is to attract the ladies. So this gentleman will puff up his chest, extend out his dewlap, and then he'll bob up and down and say, ladies, how good looking am I? And that he is, one handsome little fella. Now aside from being incredibly handsome, here you go buddy, he is also a really great hunter. What they're out here looking for, pretty much any little invertebrate they can come across, but they specialize in catching water nymphs. And of course, because they're adapted for water, they go down in there, look for their food, grab a meal, bring it up onto the sides of the canyons, and have a feast. So he has a pretty limited diet in an environment like this, but as you can see, this lizard looks incredibly healthy, it's about average size for a male. The males are a slight bit bigger than the females. Yeah, I see you, I know, you're an excellent hunter and he's a little discouraged right now because he was caught by a potential predator. Now these lizards are really well adapted to this canyon waterfall ecosystem and their skin is actually really hydrophobic, which means that water will beat up on it and run right off. Let me grab a handful of water and show you what that looks like. Hold on a second. little drips of water down on him. Look at that, you see how the water just beads up and runs right off? So he's staying dry, because we're soaked. He's much drier than I am right now. I'm soaked having to go into that waterfall to catch this lizard. And right now this guy just wants to get back up onto the rock so he can continue hunting. But what an awesome adventure to get down here into the canyon and catch the elusive water anole. I'm Coyote Peterson, be brave, stay wild. We'll see you on the next adventure. Every time we deploy into the wild, Mother Nature tests us with some seemingly impossible challenges. And there are certainly times where the team and I have wanted to give up. To throw in the towel and say, you know what, this episode just isn't going to happen. But this is breaking trail, so when the going gets tough, the Brave Wilderness team gets going. And Mother Nature always rewards hard work with something spectacular. To this day, I still can't believe that we actually caught a rainforest dragon. If you thought this adventure was epic, go back and watch our expedition that led to the capture of a beautiful yet toxic little amphibian, the poison frog. And don't forget, subscribe to join me and the crew on this season of Breaking Trail.